we will now turn it over to Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics, Sandy Barber, for an opening statement. Thank you, Chris. Uh, appreciate everybody uh, joining on, on such notice, as, as Chris said. Uh, certainly, this has been a, a difficult day. Um, I am announcing uh, that I have accepted the resignation of men's basketball head coach Pat Chambers following an internal investigation of allegations of inappropriate conduct, which surfaced shortly after ESPN published a July 6th story on the website, The Undefeated. Uh, the review was conducted jointly by our Penn State Affirmative Action and Athletics Integrity Offices. We do not uh, disclose the details of personnel investigations, but I can tell you, as difficult as this news may be, both President Barron and I believe that this is the right outcome. Coach Chambers has made many contributions uh, to the program and to this university, for which we are grateful. Uh, the team has been on a positive trajectory and has responded well to Coach Chambers' efforts on and off the court. But as difficult as this news may be, we think it's best in the best interest of Penn State, our program, and our student athletes. Our main focus at this moment is squarely on them, our student athletes and our men's basketball program, which as you have heard me say many times, they are our why, they are our purpose. Uh, they are our focus. This was difficult and unexpected news for them, and we are committed to continuing to provide them with the necessary resources as they focus on their academics, health and safety, and preparation for the season to come. The young men in our program are talented, passionate, and resilient. They have been the authors of the rebirth of Penn State men's basketball, and although I am sure it will take them a little time, I am certain that they will find their footing and move confidently and successfully through the academic year, through COVID-19 and through the COVID-19 environment and the competitive season. And I look forward to supporting their success. We have appointed assistant coach Jim Ferry as the interim men's basketball coach, and he will serve in that role until a permanent replacement can be named. Coach Ferry has spent nearly 20 years as a collegiate head coach at four different institutions, and I am confident that he and our talented staff will provide strong and focused determ and determined leadership and guidance for our young men. So let me repeat, uh, I, we will not and do not disclose details of personnel matters, uh, but I am happy to take uh, a few questions uh, and answer as I am able to. As Sandy indicated, she will take a couple of questions now. Uh, Nate Bauer, Blue It Illustrated. Cindy. Uh -oh. Oop. Go You're there, Nate. Go ahead, Nate. Okay, we're good. Um, if you could help clarify the timeline uh, a little bit, when was the investigation, uh, the internal investigation completed? Um, not necessarily the details, but when, when did it finish versus uh, this transpiring today? Uh, and also, will will Coach Ferry be considered um, for the head coaching position? Yes, we we received uh, Dr. Barron and I received the report. Uh, I would say in the last uh, uh, inside the last two weeks, uh, and uh, Coach Ferry uh, certainly will will do a, a national search. Uh, that's what we'll always do for head coaches here at Penn State. Um, but uh, I would would love to see Coach Ferry have the kind of success, have our our program have the kind of success this season um, that would give Coach Ferry a shot. Uh, Sandy, ben, ben Jones, statecollege.com. Sandy, uh, I don't want to. We're having some audio issues. Go ahead, Ben. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sandy, I don't want to get into the things you don't necessarily want to talk about, but was this investigation solely a product of that story? Were there things, enough things that came out after the fact that, that led you to believe that? And is this the sort of thing that it's all in the same area, or are there other things that came up that led to this decision? Yeah, the allegation was uh, was previously unknown uh, to Penn State and uh, and was uh, independent, unrelated uh, to the undefeated article. Dave Jones, Penn Live. Sandy, um, 
I've been told there were questions about recruiting irregularities. Can you confirm that during the, the uh, investigation by Bob Boland? We don't, uh, we're not going to get into to the details of this, but uh, uh, NCA matters were not part of this. Sorry, I'm looking for you, Mark Brennan, and I'm not finding you. There you are. Mark Brennan, fight on, or, uh, fight on state. Hey, Sandy, thank you for doing this today. Uh, can you tell us how, when the players learned about this? Uh, how did you break the news to them? What was their reaction? Yeah, the, the, uh, our student athletes uh, found out about 4.30 today, and uh, Coach Chambers is the one that delivered the news uh, to them. Um, and as you can imagine, um, it was uh, difficult news uh, for them to hear. You know, Coach Chambers uh, has, uh, has many, um, uh, well, current and, and former uh, players that uh, have been glowing in their, their praise of, of him. And, uh, you know, our current players have, uh, uh, many of them have very good relationships uh, with him. And, and he is the one that has given them this opportunity. Uh, and so they are, uh, uh, they're in a little bit of shock. And, uh, and, uh, and they're, they're very disappointed. Our last question, we'll go to Dana O'Neill, The Athletic. Sandy, obviously there's a lot going on these days with you know coach behavior and people want to try to, I don't know, minimize, maximize what is tolerable, what is not intolerable, is not tolerable these days. How do you draw the line? I'm not asking you to go into specifics of what, what was the pushover here, but how do you kind of walk that fine line when some people say it's just making a kid tough? It's just make, you know, coaching them hard. Yeah, that's a great question, Dana, and and that obviously is uh, is something that uh, coaches in general uh, nowadays, uh, you know, really do uh, walk walk a fine line. Um, and it's obviously my job as as athletic director to evaluate that. And it's uh, you know, there's uh, behavior that. Um, uh, you, you know represents your values and there's behavior that that you don't and I, I'm speaking very generally uh, and th that's typically uh, what, what I lean on from a values perspective. That's all the time we have for Sandy Barber today. Thank you very much Sandy. Thanks for joining very quickly everybody. We will make this uh, recording available and send it out on our uh, email list. Thank you.